He served in the Army. On a day when the weather was just starting to hint at the coming Texas summer, several hundred employees at Frito-Lay in Plano gathered to watch one Frito-Lay driver hand another an American flag and then watch Otis Howell buckle it into his passenger seat. I have to protect the flag at all costs. That's what, that's what I feel about it. And I'm proud to be an American. Because this is the ninth time they've taken a flag on a 14,000 mile cross country journey. It's called Rolling Remembrance, honoring people like Sheridan Skorupi McDonald. She was five years old when her dad and 20 others died in a National Guard airplane crash. I have my own flag at home. I have what they presented to me when I was five. And I think it's also that symbolic reminder of what we see when we walk into our homes. Remembrance that is also raising money to help veteran families like hers. The Children of Fallen Patriots Foundation, which pays for college for children who suffered the same difficult loss. And veterans who work at Frito-Lay are on the front lines of all of this. Otis, the man driving that flag on the next leg of his journey from Seattle to New York, is an Army veteran. So is Leon Plummer. What I want folks to see is like, hey, um, you know, it's, it's about remembering. That flag, by the way, is on the road next to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, carrying its message with every mile. I think it's just a reminder that there is loss in your backyard. There's loss in your state. And that veterans in a civilian workforce are raising every dollar they can to honor the families their fellow veterans left behind. In Plano, I'm Kevin Reese.